Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Wynn. Um, morning update on Sunday, July 24th. Um, I'm going to focus a lot on today. Um, I think we're going to have a lot, a lot of uh, progress up the lake today in the race. And uh, frankly, I'm just stunned by how far up the lake the boats are already. Um, after what was sort of an average to slow kind of start, we are really going fast right now. Um, so this is the overall tracking situation right now, and let me just kind of like give the, uh, the big picture on this, which is we've got our very, very fastest boats, including our fastest cruising boats and our crast, uh, fastest racing fleet boats right here. And we'll look at them close up in just a second. And then sort of back here, let me get the mouse going again. This is sort of uh, some of the rest of the cruise, some of the rest of the cruising fleet, and then um, turbo section one kind of boats. Um, so they're sort of between Big Sable and Little Sable Point um, on the rum line, more or less. And then back here, and this big third group, this is what you would call the main fleet. So um, all over the place back back here, right? So we've got. Um, two distinct things going on within this group. And uh, I'll point them out in just a second, but let's sort of work from, from front to back on the fleet. So let's just zoom in a little bit and take a look at a couple of the leaders, right? So we've got um, Arte right here, and you can see they're going 21.9 knots, uh, 70, uh, with 75 nautical miles to go. Um, that is really fast. Now, Arte as a foiling trimaran, um, we have, and you'll see in a second, we've got southerly, southerly winds, maybe even a little bit of southwest winds over a lot of the lake right now. So, you know, the breeze is coming from this direction. And Arate uh, has to sort of go across the wind a little bit more to get their kind of ideal boat speed, which means that we might see them come in here and then come back sort of this way. So even though it's 75 miles in a straight line or along this red rum line to the finish, it's a little bit longer than that in terms of distance that they have to sail. That said, they are going very, 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 very fast. And um, I'm really excited for them. I know a couple of, I know Ron White on that boat, and I know they, they really want to make it in sometime early today if they can. Um, back here, this is Infinite Diversion, who's leading boat for boat in the cruising section. They slowed down quite a bit during the course of the day yesterday, as, most, as, did, as did most of the cruising fleet. And they're going seven knots now through Manitou Passage. Going great. I'm sure it's a great sail there in Manitou Passage. Roxy is leading on a corrected basis right now uh, in the cruising fleet. And then back here, just to call out a couple of these boats, we've got a couple of the other cruisers right here. We've got Natalie J that's sort of sort of winning on an unofficial handicap basis. You see they're going 15.9 knots. Wow. Um, you know, question for them is are they going to sort of make a right turn? It looks to me like they probably will and go through the Manitou Passage. I think that's probably what they do. Uh, or a little bit of a left turn and go outside of the Manitou's a little more distance. Uh, not sure, and I sort of have the same question for Real Mostro here. They look, uh, watch their next few updates. They're going over 20 knots also right now, and they got 95 miles to go. Um, is it a situation where, especially with the wind out of the south, uh, you know, do you want to go behind these islands where you get a little less wind, or do you make a little bit of a right turn um, and go up through the Manitou Passage right here? So I'm sure their navigators are thinking about that right now also. I don't think the Manitou Islands are causing a lot of problems, or the shoreline is causing a lot of problems in terms of winds. I don't think. Um, we seem to have very good boat speeds here and here uh, inside the passage, and Arete obviously has a fair amount of wind to the lee of uh, North Manitou Island. There. So we've got a whole bunch, as I said, of sort of Section 1 and turbo boats back here uh, off of, here's the call, Point Betsy, and between Big Sable and Point Betsy, I think I think I said something wrong earlier. I think I said that these guys are between Big and Little Sable Points. They're between Big Sable Point and Point Betsy. Um, they're all going, you see, north of 10 knots, which is very fast in the sailboat racing world. And then, you know, really as we go back, sort of the faster boats are starting to separate themselves a little bit. Here's some cruisers right here. Um, are starting to sort of pull out in front of uh, some of the of the smaller, slower boats, um, with the main fleet concentrated right here between Little Sable Point and Big Sable Point. And again, we seem to be in a southerly with boat speeds that are real nice boat speeds, like 9.5 knots in J120s, 8.2 knots in a J35, 8.8 .8 knots, uh, far 40. So real nice breeze. Now back here. We have a group of boats that's not going as fast. I, I don't. I have a hypothesis for what's going on there. I think this has to do with uh, 
rainfall. Um, but let's take a, maybe a quick look at the radar route of that. That's the that's the fleet situation again, though. Most guys back here between Little and Big Sable Point. We've got turbos between Big Sable Point Betsy, and we've got some guys in the lead that are just launched right now. So exciting next couple of hours to see uh, how their progress continues. So uh, if you're reading the post, you see that over, you heard that overnight we had a, um, and, and really right now, uh, we've got a special marine warning for this line of thunderstorms, uh, which uh, uh, traversed the fleet. And we read on Twitter about lots of sail changes and lots of rain. And uh, boy, there's just, there's just been a lot going on. When we went to bed last night, there was a set of squalls that weakened coming off of Wisconsin that got the fleet going. And then there's been uh, sort of a, a regeneration with a little bit more of kind of a, you know, west northwest to east southeast movement of some rain. Um, I'll show you in a second that the, I think the main um, the main rain situation is over for the fleet right now. Um, after this, we have a cold frontal passage, and it doesn't look like there's a lot of energy with that cold front passage. So um, hopefully this works its way through, and then we get some some clear air, though continued breeze. Speaking of breeze, this is in, in the uh, current. Um, wind situation in and around the lake and I want to call out for you let's our boats are past here but look at this yesterday all day we were looking at this this buoy in the mid lake buoy on the south of the lake and we I don't think ever saw a wind speed over 3.9 knots now we got winds at 18 knots gusting to 22 so I, I don't know what exactly the fleet is seeing there um, up here where the fleet is is up here you know a little bit away from this buoy and closer to this observation of five knots I would guess that the wind is more like 15 or 20 based on those boat speeds and that this observation is a little light because the wind is coming over the land um, and hasn't quite gotten mixed down really well over the land. Up where we saw Arite going uh, 20 plus knots in El Mostro and Natalie J going 15 or 20 knots, we've got this buoy now, which is sort of the northern of the two mid-buoy lakes. It's at, uh, south-southwest at 16 gusting to 20. It's, uh, you know, it's um, a really good indicator of why we're seeing the speeds on these boats that do really, really, really well downwind like the Transpac 52. Um, you know, they're virtually going downwind right now. I am not sure that I believe this calm observation right here. I haven't been watching this station. Um, and if we look over here in Mac Island, we actually have light east winds going on across the other side of the strait. So that's kind of an outlier too. If you take a look, the rest of the winds here are sort of south, um, south-southeast winds. Uh, and so... I'm, I'm thinking that we really probably have south winds trying to, to encroach on the straits right now. Um, this is a forecast of what happens next from a wind perspective, right? The barbs are the, uh, are the wind direction and speed, and then there's shading for the speed also. And this is a, about, and it's actually not maybe an hour or two ago, but let's sort of fast forward. You can see that we have pretty good southerly winds in the in the area of the racing fleet. So forwarding this kind of frame by frame, that continues. This is, so this is about, uh, this was about at six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock. Um, nice, nice, nice south, south, southeasterly. They're starting to build on the um, Wisconsin shore. Uh, this is around noon. We continue in our real nice strong breezes. Uh, maybe we have a little lightning up towards uh, sort of Beaver Island there in the Straits. We'll take a look at that. That looks odd to me. Um, to have all of these really nice south winds all around and then this little light patch right here. But let's see um, what happens as the afternoon unfolds. Now, about here, I want to call out, and let me draw on this one. We've been talking about a cold front coming through. You can see the wind shift associated with the cold front right there, right? So in front of the cold front, we've got these southerly winds, strong southerly winds in some cases, right? Those are 20, plus, 20 knot plus winds right there. And, and again, I wonder about this area why it's so sort of light blue. And then if you look behind us, we've got west winds, um, uh, again, 15 to 20 knots uh, going on over land. So uh, we're going to have a heck of a wind shift and watch this wind shift roll through, um, roll through the lake here in a second. There's, uh, there we go. Fast forward. There it comes across the lake. There it is hitting the lake. And we got about four more frames here, right? The wind's going sort of to west, southwest in the southern part of the lake. And it continues to progress. Sorry, we're back to the front there. But uh, we sort of run out of room on this. But but I would expect, so this is 2300 uh, GMT, which is going to be, I think, about 5 p.m. Um, central time. 
6 p.m. island time, and we, if things keep going the rate we're go, they're going, we're going to have a couple of boats finished by then. Um, but we will have a lot of the racing fleet sort of in this area right here uh, in a really decent southerly, and they're going to be seeing a, um, uh, a little bit of a shift to the west over the next few hours. This is that same model from a precipitation perspective. I don't want to belabor it. Um, you know, main point is don't worry about the first few frames. They're like now. And then you see things aren't nearly as bad as we had the cold front passage towards the end of the period. So that's really, really awesome. So moral of the story is we've got a lot of boats going very, very fast um, right now. Oh, you know, Mostro is going to go through the Manitou's. You see they made a right turn there. Um, and um, uh, we should have some arrivals today if all goes well. Um, the forecast is for really nice southerly winds for a few hours. Later today, we're going to be watching the cold front approach and look for a shift to sort of a west, west, northwest wind. Um, and what kind of pressure is behind that? I expect very, very fast progress for most of the fleet today um, as the uh, as the race continues. Um, that's about it. I guess the one thing I forgot to mention is I said that there were some boats moving slowly back here. And I think what's going on with them is that uh, is that we've we've got them behind this uh, thunderstorm we looked at right here, and the winds are really confused. So sorry, I just wanted to close the loop on that one thing that I mentioned about <laughs> about five minutes ago. But uh, all in all, uh, things are going quickly, and we should have a really great Sunday. Thanks again for all your comments and questions, and please keep them coming. And look forward to uh, spending the rest of the day with everyone. Thanks. Bye.